guys so you have watched me wash my face for the millionth time on this here vlog but there were some things that switched up in this routine which is what I'm here to update you guys on so this is an update to my morning face routine well my morning skincare routine rather and I cannot promise that all of the products will stay because two of them I am trying out for the first time and I don't really know how I like them because my face is not clearing up as much as I would like it to. So there's that. Every, every vlog you make an appearance. Uh, say hi to Nipsey guys. Say hi to Nipsey. Okay, so anyways, so the clean girl aesthetic. Let's get into that first. Because at this point, it's all over TikTok. And yeah. Well, it just came up on my For You page. And it makes sense. Like, the, the, the aesthetic matches the title, if that makes sense. So we went from that girl to clean girl. And yeah. But basically, it's like nice fresh face dewy skin clean clearly clean hairstyle aesthetically pleasing outfit all of those things like nice accessories da, da, da. but today we're just going to focus on the skincare aspect and supplements because let's be real if you're not going to take the right vitamins like are you really taking care of yourself and not to mention a lot of my vitamins help with my skincare like a lot of the stuff that I take throughout the day just helps and I'll get into that when I get into the supplement part okay but let's start off with my new additions right because most of the stuff y'all have already seen new edition wise it's the Dr. Dennis Gross the daily the HABHA daily cleansing gel <clears throat> and the daily moisturizer now these came in a pack with the 
the universal day daily pills the you know what i'm talking about i used it during my not the vlog that just posted but the one before that and actually sidebar the vlog that just that is most recent i've had to post that twice like currently right now i'm re-uploading it resaving it because i did i i was impatient and i stopped the writing process and didn't realize it jacked up the video but back to what we're here for for real this is the two and the daily peel this is the first one this is the second one oh shoot oh okay so yeah so basically how it goes is i wash my face with this the the daily cleansing gel gel then i do the daily peel then i come in with my fat water toner this guy's still hanging on like it really only take a little bit of this you don't need a lot or your face will be soaking wet it, it is genuinely a waste of product so this <clears throat> then coco kind revitalizing eye cream this is a must-have because sis got bags and i'm trying really hard to get rid of them but yeah that then i come in with my daily moisturizer and then i come in with the fancy moisturizer because this has spf in it and if you're going to use this you need to put spf on your face do not step outside your house without some type of spf on your face please damage your skin why don't you just go on and damage it now for the nighttime, I go back to my good old Fenty cleanser. This is literally almost gone. I need to go get some more. I do. I go back to this. Curology. This Curology. That's it. I might put a lotion on. Last night I put on the lotion. It just depends on my how I feel. And if I use lotion, I use the Fenty Overnight one. Which I'm not about to get up and get. But you, you get the gist. Like that's that's the whole face routine right there whatever lip gloss i decide to put on i have bundles and bundles of lip glosses i pick one i put it on it's just that simple now like i said i'm not really feeling how this works i know for a fact that this works so i'm going to give this until the end of the month and i'll probably do like an update in a vlog one of my vlogs like my monthly reset vlog probably i'll do an update on if i'm going to continue to use this because i'm gonna be honest i really don't like it like i genuinely do not like this so i don't know i also want to try the tatcha face wash so there's that so that is my updated skincare routine my updated products what i'm using how i like them so far if i like them now this is a travel bag i love this this i love which is why i bought it i sorry it's backwards this i love which is why i bought it i did not intend to get these but when i was in sephora i picked them up and she was like girl get the um go ahead and get the, the the pack it's the same price and i was like what and she walked me over there and she and she handed it to me i was like oh okay well i can try all of these and see how i like them cool and i just realized i can rip the top off of this so that is now what i'm doing because i real life just be doing the most but yeah so these are a lifesaver I like the moisturizer. I'm just not feeling the daily cleansing gel. Like, I I don't really like this so far, but I'm gonna keep using it to see. If maybe it's user error, I doubt it. But yeah, now let's go ahead and hop over into supplements. Okay, so now it's time for our 
supplement section, right? Part that gets a little tricky. So I take my supplements three times a day. Not all of them three times a day, but I take them in increments of, you know. So to start off in the morning, I take an apple cider vinegar tablet and birth control. Now, I don't like to drink apple cider vinegar, which is why I take the tablet. I think it's self-explanatory. Um, it helps keep me regular, stuff like that. I have two different vitamins that I use to keep everything moving the same way. Birth control, self-explanatory, helps with my skin, all that, hormone regulation, all that. Um, oh, and right now in the morning, I also take my probiotic and prebiotic by Ollie. I'm trying to finish these up. I'm almost done. I have like five left. I'm not a fan of these. Like I have it. Yeah, I mean, I feel the same. So I, they are working. I'm just not personally a fan. Um, now during the afternoon, is what this pill bottle is specifically for and in this one i have some things and i will explain like just you know the benefits of it um so yeah let's start with um zinc Put. everything is on my phone so bear with me guys just bear with me um actually this is how i'll break it down because i've actually been using the four of these since i want to say the end of april beginning of last may um when i had covid so it is zinc, vitamin C, vitamin D3, and folic acid. Now, the folic acid is more so because I am anemic. Like I'm very anemic, which is probably why my energy levels are typically low. I have seen an improvement in it because I don't crave ice as much as I used to. Like I used to eat like two cups of ice a day tragic and it was terrible on my teeth but yeah vitamin d3 i feel like it's good for yeah it helps you absorb calcium keep your bones strong definitely need that i do not drink milk so yeah keep this in um zinc i know for a fact helps you just you know with like not getting sick and things like that. Um, it boosts your immune system. And this has done wonders for me. Definitely done wonders for me because I haven't really been sick since I had COVID. Like I got sick, I wanna say it maybe December and that was it. And normally I like, I get sinus infections all the time. Like I always have sinus infection, but December like, um, in December there was like a bug going around our job and it was awful like and it wasn't just COVID like some people caught COVID I was blessed enough to have not caught COVID again I was not dealing with Omicron I dealt with Delta Omicron is, no I'm done I don't want no more COVID um, but yeah a lot of people got sick I, got a, I, I did get a bug but it was not and I found out after the fact that that's what it was like. It wasn't COVID though. Like I knew for a fact it wasn't COVID and I kept taking COVID tests. I didn't have COVID. So zinc, your best friend. Take it. Um, vitamin C also helps with your immune system. You know, you need it. These are like must haves. Also to go back, folic acid. Um, I had read somewhere that it also helps with hair growth. So maybe we can attribute that as well to my hair growth. Um, and then also during lunchtime, I take Claritin for allergies. Cause like I told y'all, I have really bad allergies. To be honest, I'm allergic to, to cats and dogs. 
I'm actually allergic to animals. Like anything with pet dander, I'm allergic to. Luckily for me, Nipsey does not shed. Though people like to tell me he does. Um, he's always up under me, so I, I would know. But he does not shed. Um, other dogs that I'm around, like Rocky and Spike, they do shed. Um, if I and I do notice the difference if I don't take any allergy medicine at all, I'm miserable. Um, I typically make myself get over it because prior to Nipsey, I had another dog. His name was Sash. He shed a lot, and I was always trying to figure out why I was like so like stuffed up and stuff like that. It, it was because of my dog. But so basically, I went and got an allergy test. They stick you with everything in various places. Like they do like random sticks, like up and down your arms, up and down your back. I broke out from darn near everything. Like there were bumps to everything. Ragweed, cockroaches. I'm allergic to the whole world basically. So Claritin is a big must for me daily. And when I finish with the Ollie probiotic, I'm switching back to this one. Um. It's the Azo Complete Feminine Balance Daily Probiotic. Basically, it's good for you every day. It's good for your gut health. I just prefer this one the most. And yeah, that's it. Now for the nighttime. I take chlorophyll. I only take one of these. I've seen other chlorophyll tablets, like there are some on Amazon, but you really have to read them, like how much chlorophyll you're getting not even just chlorophyll actually honestly it's how much copper is in them you can only absorb so much copper so you have to be really careful with chlorophyll because a lot of chlorophyll has a lot of copper in it so i would recommend you guys read how much copper is in it and do your research for anything you take do research um don't just be taking stuff because you see people take it on youtube or because you hear this, it had great effects on so-and-so because it could have the opposite effect on you. So, just that. But yeah, chlorophyll is definitely good for being regular, um, body odor. Hold on, I think I have it in here. Just to be specific, yeah. So, a lot of people say cancer prevention, um, you can't hurt healing wounds. But like skincare, acne definitely need it weight loss controlling body odor relieving constipation and gas and boosting energy so as we can see it's not really doing a lot for the energy it definitely helps with the constipation and gas um definitely when i take it regularly because i had stopped taking it for a while i'm not gonna lie but it was i could see the benefits for my skin um it definitely works for body odor um i mean i do the regular routine definitely wear deodorant all that stuff but this does help a lot so yeah chlorophyll is my friend i need to always make sure i have that last vitamin prenatals so i take this primarily for the fact that i'm anemic and for my hair well this actually is not last the last one i have to go get but and I take it in the morning, so I, I, nah, it, whatever. But anyways, so prenatals, I take one every night along with my chlorophyll. So I, and these are like the two biggest tablets I have. So I take them both at night. Um, but they are, I take them primarily just for my hair and my hair, my skin, unless. It, oh and anemia um they don't at all contradict birth control so you can take them both they do it's not like because i'm taking this it cancels out this or because i'm taking this it cancels out this. it's not it does not um i've heard that it has different side effects on like some people who take it um who take prenatals it makes their acne worse for me it helps my acne more like it lessens it because i get my t-zone is what breaks out the most so when i don't take this my skin does i do break out more um and i'm not gonna lie i haven't been taking it for the past couple of weeks 
so that could also be an issue um but yeah that's that part give me one second i need to get my last this last one it ties everything to get like i feel like when it is missing because i have gone days without taking it or consuming it rather and i noticed the difference so give me a second okay so this last one you guys have heard me talk about briefly in a haul but collagen peptides yeah so this is the vital proteins it's by far my favorite collagen supplement um i have tried collagen gummies collagen pills i prefer the vital peptides collagen peptides the vital proteins collagen peptides i prefer this one the most it's the best one um it helps with hair skin nails i don't really pay too much attention to the nail part because as you know i always have nails on um thank you taylor but yeah my hair has flourished greatly and i want to say it's, it's it could be a combination of the folic acid the collagen the prenatals it, it very well could be all three of those things but my hair is not as healthy when i stop taking it like i have you when i was experimenting with the other ones like my hair was growing yes but it wasn't like my hair and my skin weren't as great as they could be so it probably just boosts the effects of the other ones i'm not entirely sure i don't even know but i love it i love it it works amazing it is what it is also something that should be duly noted drink plenty of water if you're gonna take all these vitamins and just drink juice or soda you're doing yourself a disservice like drink some water get you a cute water bottle if you got to drink you some water um i fill my water up regularly throughout the day like when it get low if it get halfway i fill it up so yeah and i don't go by i have time markers i don't go by the time markers i just drink water it just is what it is um so this is actually my collection of vitamins i am going to be adding vitamin b12 to the regimen i'll probably add that in in the morning along with my apple cider vinegar tablet um so in the morning i do collagen and my coffee take an apple cider vinegar and take my birth control that's my morning and then in my afternoon vitamin d3 probiotic or yeah i'll be taking probiotic come sunday in the morning in the afternoon right now it's in the morning because i'm doing the gummies but vitamin d3 folic acid zinc vitamin c and then claritin sunday add in my azo probiotic and then at night chlorophyll prenatal see them too big this is what they look like and i told y'all these are the two biggest tablets i got so yeah so that is it that's all the vitamins i take nothing is skipped nothing's missing um you guys heard the benefits of them well of most of them um I would recommend that you do your own research with the exception of the chlorophyll. I get all my vitamins from Target. <laughs> all of them. The chlorophyll I get from GNC and it's like $9.99. And it's, it's a 90 day supply. You take one of these a day. So, and the Up and Up brand for Target works just as well. I think the folic acid is the only one I have in Nature Made. Um, I have tried different um, prenatals. I was doing the new chapter ones, 
I don't I don't like them I don't like them at all and I still got some left but yeah I wasn't a fan so I went to the one a day and this is a 60 day supplement or a 60 day um I hope it is true this might be a 60 day supply because yeah I think it is so I have those and then of course Azo is its own brand, Claritin is its own brand, but I get those from Target as well. So that is actually it, vitamin wise. Um, Ollie, I'm I'm just not a fan. I have read good reviews. I read reviews to everything, so which is why I got them because they had really good reviews. I'm just not a fan. I prefer Azo. So yeah. Um, Thank you guys so much for watching. I will link below all of the I'll like I'll link the stores below so that you can just if there's a specific vitamin you want, you know, you can go to the store and grab it. Um I'll link that below and I'll also put the benefits of each vitamin below as well. Um I would say still do your research still double check everything has a different effect on everybody but yeah thank you guys so much for watching um be sure to like comment and subscribe also turn your post notifications on because i will be posting every sunday from here on out and this the next video after this yeah i'm so excited to film it like so definitely be sure to um Turn your post notification on so that you see it. Um, and yeah, that's it. I'll talk to you later. Bye.